Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, all morning we have been talking about dry January, which I'm sure hundreds and thousands of people are going to be partaking in across the state and our nation. And I want to show you these beautiful array of mocktails. These have zero proof alcohol, which means they are completely alcohol free and they're gorgeous. They look just like, you know, a regular cocktail would. And this is really going to help everybody who wants to partake in this challenge or wants to forego alcohol altogether, but they're a little bit nervous to do so in a social setting. They might be worried about what their friends might say or just not having that drink beside them that they can sip on and enjoy their meal. So I'm here today with the owner of the Gladly, Andrew. Thank you so much for having us. All right. Talk to me about these beautiful mocktails and the success that you've had because this isn't the first time that you've done something like this. No, we do this year round, so not just dry, dry January. Uh, these cocktails taste as great as they look, which I like too, because they go really well with the food. So you can have a complete dining experience with some like really nuanced drinks that have viscosity and texture, and, and they taste complex and really, really nice. That is awesome, and you guys are offering them um, for happy hour. So talk to me about that and the decision to do that this month. Yeah, so we want to focus on dry January uh, and add to our already you know, robust Happy Hour offerings. Uh, and for dry January, we're offering uh, our mocktails as well. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and taste these because I've been looking at them for like the past 20 minutes or so, and they look delicious. And again, these have no alcohol at all. So what's this one? This one's the Hellfire? That's called the Hellfire, and it's got local ginger beer in it. And uh, Curtis, our bar manager, can tell you about it too. All right. Yeah, so... Um, it's really great. Uh, we use non-alcoholic spirits, like we mentioned, in all of our mocktails instead of just juices and syrups like some places do, which is fine. But um, it gives it a really nice depth, nice viscosity, nice mouthfeel. So it feels like you're drinking a real cocktail just without the spirit. So you can still enjoy the social setting, the pairings with the food. Um, and uh, have a really nice, beautiful drink. And yeah, I can definitely uh, attest to that. It definitely feels like you are drinking a cocktail. Like, I, I would have no idea. You know, obviously, I wouldn't feel buzzed <laughs> after it, which is the good thing. That's what we're trying to avoid. So which one is this one? Um, so that's our truth or consequences. So um, it's going to be a little bit of strawberry. Yeah, how is that? It's pretty nice, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's got, has a little kick. <laughs> it's a little kick, but not the alcohol kick, just all the right stuff for dry January. Um, so that's got um, the Lear's uh, Italian um, uh, bitter liqueur, uh, a little bit of strawberry, um, some lime, and uh, mint garnish. So it's kind of uh, got a really nice balance to it. That is awesome. All right. So I want to talk about this bottle here because this is kind of what you're making them from, right? So can you talk to me about this? Yeah. So this is one of the non-alcoholic spirits that we use um, called Seed Lip. They have three different varietals. Um, it's uh, made by Diageo, which makes a lot of the other spirits that a lot of people are familiar with. Um, but you can pick this up at any of the local liquor stores. Um, I know Total Wine, Trevor's, and uh, places like AJ's are going to carry that. So if you want to make any of these drinks at home or have a non-alcoholic cocktail with your dinner at home or if you're entertaining guests that are participating in Dry January, it's a great route to go. Got it. All right. So let's talk some food options. So if I wanted to order this gorgeous dish over here, which cocktail, or I should say mocktail, would you recommend for this one? You know, they're versatile. They can go any direction, especially with like the chopped salad, which is our signature dish that has a lot of different flavors and complexities in there. Um, again, like I love the mint. I love the freshness of, of, of that paired with the freshness of the ingredients in the salad. And then we mix the salad up table side, which is always fun as well. So I like to get interactive here at the Gladly. Awesome. All right. I'm going to toss it back to you guys. But yeah, dry January. This looks awesome this month. I think I'm going to partake in this. So I think I found my little special spot, you guys, <laughs> to make it through this month and be a little bit healthier and happier. Yeah. Plenty of options yeah. right there. I feel so much better. Thank you, Sarah.